Say hello to the first ever Audi Q8. This is a completely new SUV joining the Audi family. It's based on the Q7's wheelbase, but this five-seater is a sportier version, kind of similar to how BMW has the X6 for the X5. It has that sloping roofline, and the Q8 has been described as an SUV coupe. Some of the things that we'll be touching on today are the biggest differences between the Q7 and the Q8, the interior, the Q8 does have a new two-screen infotainment system, performance and driving features like four-wheel steering, and the technology that makes this car so incredibly advanced. We'll be getting into all the details of this exciting new addition to the Audi lineup in just a bit. Keep watching for an overview and be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this from Canada's largest automotive group. The Q8 has a 3.0-liter turbocharged V6, sending power to all four wheels via a 7-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. The Q8 does have Audi's new MHEV, or Mild Hybrid Electric Vehicle technology, and what that can do is recover energy during braking, and it can also make the Q8 coast with the engine off for better fuel economy. The Q8 makes 335 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. When it comes to size, the Q8 is 2.6 inches shorter than the Q7, 1.2 inches wider, and also shorter in length since there isn't a third row. It actually frees up a lot of room for the rear passengers. Up front, you can see just how aggressive Audi went with the styling. It's really bold, sporty, and sleek. Audi always does lights well too, and the welcoming light is a nice touch. The Q8 is also equipped to have HD matrix LED lights. This is an amazing feature that's not currently approved in Canada, but the functionality is interesting. When the high beams are on, the car can mask oncoming vehicles to keep the road lit, while not blinding oncoming drivers by customizing its path. The S-Line Sport Package adds front and rear S-Line bumpers, spoiler, door sills, and fender badges. 21-inch wheels are standard, but you can upgrade to these 22s. In the rear are LED taillights with a cool-looking light bar across the back. When you open up the power lift gate and fold down the rear seats, you have access to over 60 cubic feet of cargo space. That's a little more room than the Q7. The Q8 looks good, but it's also functional. The towing package increases the towing capacity to 7,700 pounds. The tech in the Q8 is one of its standout features. This has the new Audi MMI touch response system that you'll also see in some of their other new models like the A8L. This is a two-tiered screen setup with the upper 10.1-inch screen for infotainment and navigation. The lower 8.6-inch screen controls vehicle functions and text input. You can configure six different profiles so this home screen can be customized any way you like. It's worth noting that in order to use this, it requires a bit of a push since it does require haptic feedback. The Q8 has a Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system and that can be upgraded to the advanced version. As well, it has Audi's 12.3-inch virtual cockpit, and while you might want to play around with the map all day, it does have some really neat functions. For example, this is where you can look at energy consumption to see what's using up the most energy. One of the distinguishing differences between this and the Q7 is that it does not have a third row of seats. It still has an exquisitely luxurious interior that's very spacious, since the second row can slide and recline. These were the tallest men that we could find at the dealership, and they're going to help us show you what the car looks like with three tall men in the back seat. Get cozy. The sloping roofline is actually more accommodating for passengers than you'd think, giving it a slight advantage over its competitors with more angled rooflines. Four zone climate control makes it especially comfortable for all passengers. Standard heated seats can be upgraded to massaging and ventilated comfort seats up front. The massaging function is noticeable enough to be enjoyed, but also subtle enough that it doesn't distract you from the road. A couple of features we really like are the footwell temperature adjustment settings and the welcome sound every time you start the car up. As well, the interior of the Q8 is just incredibly luxurious and Audi paid close attention to the little details that do make a difference in premium SUVs, like a leather dash and an available Alcantara headliner. Quattro all-wheel drive means the Q8 handles exceptionally well. There are also six drive modes to choose from to truly customize the ride. Pick between off-road, all-road, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. One other feature you may want to go for is the dynamic ride package, and that adds four-wheel steering and an adaptive air suspension that can change the ride height by as much as 3.5 inches. Four-wheel steering is beneficial because it allows the rear wheels to move five degrees for better maneuverability. 
The Q8 is especially advanced when it comes to safety and driver convenience technologies. One of those cool features is the Night Vision Assistant. That's an additional option that uses thermal imaging tech hidden in the front grille to scan ahead of the vehicle for pedestrians and large animals. It alerts you if it senses an oncoming collision. The Driver Assistance Package adds Intersection Assistance, Audi Active Traffic Jam Assist, Predictive Efficiency Assistance, Traffic Sign Recognition, Audi Active Turn Assist, and Emergency Assist. We're glad to finally see the Q8 from Audi, especially because brands like BMW and Mercedes already have their SUV coupes. This is a great luxury SUV that is packed with impressive features, but it's also really practical at the same time. What do you think about the Q8? Let us know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about the Q8 or want to take it for a test drive, feel free to stop by any one of our Audi dealerships.